thank everybody for attending the, today. It's uh, been a long time coming for us. Uh, my name is Steve Sparks. Um, partners here with my wife Diane and my sister Julie Peterson. We went from, I think the closing was July 3rd to, to opening Monday. That's about as fast uh, as you can, you can build the culvers from start to finish, especially when October is a month of monsoons. <laughs> I'd like to thank the city. It's been a real pleasure working in the community. The, the city has helped us, especially here at the end. We, we took an extra week off of the project, compounding that with all the rain that we had. The, the city was gracious enough to allow us to get in here, get training, and we're just finishing up the process right now. Uh, it, it's really been a great pleasure working in your town and a lot of really wonderful people. I'd really like to welcome Culver's uh, into our city and uh, thank you for building here. <laughs> It's, uh, I guess, like I was telling a couple of people before, now I can quit getting that same old question I get all the time. When is Culver's going to open up? And so, I guess, what, Monday is the next time? We're happy to take a few phone calls <laughs> off your desk. <laughs> yeah. I think we have a very nice, good-looking building that will just, just, you know, brighten up the, the Rice Street Corridor. And I'm really glad <coughs> that it's on our side of the <laughs> now the mayor from Roseville gets all the phone calls about when this coming. The Sparks, when they open here on Monday, this will be their fourth restaurant uh, with, with Culver's. And I remember they came to us, it was about 10 years ago, I, I, I would guess it is, because we've been open nine years at, uh, at Badness. And, uh, and they came to us, and Steve went through some training with us, and... Uh, you know, eventually we opened our first restaurant here in the Twin Cities. Over the years, you know, when I was first got into business, it was all about money. It was. How much money can I make and stuff? You know, over the years, the most rewarding thing that I can get is when somebody comes up to me and says, boy, did I have a great experience at one of your restaurants. And not necessarily about the food, but how they were treated by our team members. That is a neat reward. We've heard a lot of buzz in the neighborhood that people are excited to come, and and when we come into a community, uh, we're not you know we're not about putting other businesses out of business. We just want to become business partners with everybody that's in the community, and and we feel like there's room for all of us to grow, and there's room for all of us to develop the community to um, a higher level. And I think that's what it's all about. If you're business partners within a within a city, we need to know how to work together. So we're excited about being part of the other businesses that are here. <laughs> so it is a pleasure to be here in Little Canada. Uh, uh, you know, people ask me when we're going international. I guess this is about as close as we're going to get to being <laughs> so, so with that, I'm going to close. And, uh, just, a, just a couple of mementos for this day for the Sparks family. I'll give you this first. Just a, As I've said many times, you got to have a plaque at something like this. So we got a plaque for you to put on the wall somewhere. I don't care where you put it. Just here, put it somewhere. But more importantly, you need a spatula. And when you're in the burger business, you really need a spatula. So here's your spatula. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't use it on the grill. But. I'm an incredibly community-minded person, as Steve has been, too, uh, with the economic times the way they are right now. I've had so many organizations say to, to us, um, we wouldn't be able to continue doing some of the things if it wasn't for some of the support that the Culver's Restaurant gives us. And um, we, we love our community, and I think our communities love us. Obviously, we're happy to be here. I think it's a good fit for the neighborhood. We look forward to participating in in the community as we've done in our three other stores. Uh, we're very active in the schools, uh, pretty much with any not-for-profit that, that comes to us to participate, we find a way to do it. Uh, businesses like this, or projects like this, uh, like this Culver's and some other uh, businesses that we've seen in the city this summer, are really the lifeblood of, of inner ring suburbs like Little Canada. I mean, we need these projects to keep our communities vibrant and affordable desirable communities to live in. And I, I, when I look at the uh, Culver's that we have here, I believe that this Culver's will be a vibrant, affordable, and a desirable addition to our community. So again, I'd like to say, welcome to Little Canada. Thank you for coming in, and good luck. Thank you. Bill, thank you. Okay. Bill, don't put your hand over the logo. Oh! <laughs>